Hi guys, welcome back to Lowe's. We're gonna start with our perennials today. So many beautiful items here. Oh yes, let's get started. Okay, so right here guys are the Rock and Round Pop Star. It is full sun and this one is a sedum. It is $13.48. It gets eight to 10 inches tall. You wanna space it 20 inches apart. The maximum is 24. Hardy in zones three through nine, minus 40 Fahrenheit. It blooms late summer to early fall. Oh yes, this is beautiful. Rockin' round pop star. Okay. And the beautiful Paint the Town Fuchsia. This is a Dianthus, it is 1248. It needs full sun. It gets six to eight inches tall. You want to space it 12, no more than 14 inches apart. The zone is four through nine to minus 30 degree Fahrenheit. It blooms early summer, rebloomer in early fall. Okay, full sun to part sun. Another beauty, right? 1348. And this size over here, guys, it is a 2.5 quart size in this one and the sedum. Okay, and these are by proven winners. Alrighty. The next one here by proven winners is this salvia. It is 13.48 for a 2.5 quart size. It is full sun and it gets 16 to 20 inches tall. You want to space it 16 inches apart. The zone is three through eight to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. It blooms late spring to early summer. Perfect perfusia salvia. Okay. And oh, beautiful sedum here. Alrighty, so this one is the lemon coral sedum. Another proven winner's plant for $13.48. This beautiful sedum, let's see, it gets three to 10 inches tall. You want to space it eight to 12 inches apart. It's an annual except in zones 7A through 11B, hardy to five degree Fahrenheit. It needs full to part sun. And yes, it's easy to care for. Okay. Alrighty, Crest Surf. It is $16.98. It needs part shade. And this one gets 20 to 22 inches tall. You want to space it 28 to 30 inches apart. Harder in zones to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. Blooms grow for its attracted foliage. It's part shade to shade. Okay, for the crested surf. Okay. Really pretty. I like the uh, purple vein. The purple vein is really pretty. This one is the Shadowland Coast to Coast Hostel. Another proven winner's plant. This one needs part shade. It is 1348 and says this one is the hostel of the year. So this one gets 30 inches tall. You want to space it 36 inches apart. Hardy in zones three through nine to minus 40. It blooms midsummer and yes, it's part shade to shade. It is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've never planted one of these, but this is this is really pretty. Okay, moving on. Sunshade plant, 1348. And this one is called Primo Black Pearl. And this one gets 8 to 10 inches tall. You want to space it 26 to 30 inches apart. Hardy in zones 4 through 9 to 34. It blooms midsummer. The light is sun to shade. Okay. And look at this beauty here. Ah, oh, another proven winner's plant, guys. This one is Dolce Wildberry Hookera. Sunshade plant for $13.48. So this one gets 10 to 14 inches tall. You want to space it 16 to 20 inches apart. The zone is four to nine to minus 30 degree Fahrenheit. It blooms early summer, and yes, this one is by Proven Winners. It's the perennial of the year, it says on this one too, <laughs> 1348. 
Okay, another hookah, guys. This one is called Cherry Truffles. Sun to Shade plant for $13.48. And this one gets 8 to 10 inches tall. You want to space it 26 to 30 inches apart. Hardy in zones 4 to 9 to minus 30 degree Fahrenheit. It blooms early to midsummer. And yes, another beautiful hookara. So we have this hookara here, this one, and that one. I've planted that the dark, the black one, and this dark purple, but I've never planted this color here. It is really pretty. Okay, moving on to cat's pajamas. Oh yes, thirteen forty-eight for this one. This one is a full sun plant. Where's the tag? So this one gets twelve to fourteen inches tall. You want to space it eighteen to twenty inches apart. Hardy in zones three to eight to minus 40. It blooms late spring into early fall. Yes, for the beautiful cat's pajamas. Alrighty, this is spot on here. It is a part shade plant for $13.48. And this one, so this one gets 14 to 16 inches tall. You wanna space it 18 to 20 inches apart. Hardy in zones 3 to 9 to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. It blooms late spring and it is beautiful. I love the speckled look of it. So yes, that's the ticket right there. Isn't this beautiful? Oh. <laughs> and more dianthus over here. Now these are more of a fuchsia color and that one over there is more of a purple. So yes, this is another dianthus here and this one is the Paint the Town Magenta. Full sun, it is 1348. All of these proven winners, perennials guys, are in a 2.5 quart size and they are all 1348. Okay, so this one gets six to eight inches tall. You want to space it 12 to 14 inches apart. Hardy in zones four to nine to minus 30. It blooms early summer, rebloomer in early fall. Okay, for the beautiful. Paint the Town Magenta here at Lowe's. Okay, so we've gone over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven so far by proven winners. Ooh, here's number 12, another Dianthus. This one is the Fruit Punch here for $13.48. Full Sun Part Sun. I love that red, it's so pretty. So this one gets nine to 11 inches tall. The spacing is 12 to 14 inches apart. Hardy in zones four to nine to minus 30. Blooms early summer, rebloomer in early fall. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh yes. Okay guys, so we have some Clematis here by Lowe's. And this one is 1848 it needs full sun and all of these are one gallon so this one is a zone 4 plant the cold hardiness is minus 20 to minus 30 the average size is 8 to 12 feet tall and 3 to 4 feet wide you want to space it 3 to 4 feet apart and fertilize this one in the spring and the summer yes Bernadine Clematis is the name of it. Okay. So we have this. Ooh, look at this white one. Oh my goodness. So this one is Heidi Hall Clematis. It needs part sun, three to six hours of morning sun. And this one is zone four, minus 20 to minus 30 Fahrenheit. The average side, eight to 12 inches, eight to 12 feet by three feet wide. The spacing is four and the fertilization is spring and the summer. Okay. <laughs> what a view. Alrighty guys, so we have one more here, which is this one is the Boulevard Izzy Clematis. Uh, this one's 1848 as well. And this one, the zone is five. 
cold hardiness is minus 10 to minus 20. The average mature size is three to four feet tall and wide. You also want to space it three to four feet apart. How beautiful is this color? Oh, magenta, magenta, magenta. Absolutely beautiful. Starting with the hostels here. This is gold standard hostel for $6.98. And this is a one quart size here. It is a part sun shade perennial. Isn't this beautiful? Oh. <laughs> okay, it needs one to three hours of morning sun. The mature size is 30 inches tall and 36 inches wide. It blooms in the summer. The hardiness is minus 30 to minus 40. Oh yes, another beautiful perennial here. Long lasting plants and we love that. They come back year after year. That is the best part, right? Okay, so here guys, we have another perennial. This is a tiny ghost uh, Asiatic lily. It is a full sun perennial for $13.48. This one is by Monrovia. And this is a 2.5 quart size here. Okay, so it needs six hours of direct sun. The mature size is 12 inches tall and wide. It blooms in the summer and the hardiness is minus 30 to minus 40. Okay. The annual Bloody Mary Calla Lily for $13.48. And this one is by Monrovia. So it's a part sun annual. And this one gets, it needs three to six hours of morning sun. The mature size is 12 to 18 inches tall and wide. It blooms in the summertime and hardiness is 30 to 20 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, this is an annual guys. This silver lavender is a full sun perennial for $13.48. All right, so this one needs six hours of direct sun. The mature size is 18 to 24 inches tall and wide. It blooms spring and summer, and the hardiness is 0 to minus 10. It's also deer resistant. Okay. Ooh, almost missed this one. By Monrovia, this is Speedwell, dark blue Speedwell, full sun perennial for $13.48. Alrighty, so this one needs six hours of direct sun. It gets 12 to 18 inches tall and 10 to 12 inches wide. It blooms in the spring and summer. The hardiness is minus 20 to minus 30. And this one is deer resistant as well. Okay. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's move along here. All righty, guys, so by Monrovia is this golden Coreopsis for $6.48. This is a perennial. So this one needs six hours of direct sun. The mature size is 10 to 18 inches tall and 12 to 18 inches wide. It blooms in the summer and the hardiness is minus 10 to minus 20. It's the Dianthus is by Monrovia. It is 648, another full sun perennial. Okay, we know the specs of the Dianthus. Alrighty, that white is beautiful. Oh, yes. Alrighty, guys, so here today at Lowe's, the 2.5 quart size perennials are two for $10. The original price is $7.98 on the ones that I see up here. And that is amazing. Carpet, big ears, <laughs> two for 10. So this one, it, the cold hardiness is minus 20 to minus 30. non hardy in zones one to three. The average size is 12 inches tall and 18 inches wide. And the spacing is 18 inches. Silver carpet, big ears. <laughs> that is pretty. Whew. It's not, it's not spiky either. I thought it would be sticky, but no, it's not. Okay, barbecue rosemary. Oh my goodness. This one is by Lowe's, two for 10. Okay, let's take advantage of this one. This one is the barbecue rosemary. It blooms in the spring and summertime. And let's see here. 
this one is the zone 7 cold hardiness is 10 to 0 degree Fahrenheit the average mature size is 2 to 4 feet tall and 2 feet wide you want to space this one 2 feet apart yes and this mountain perennial is the blizzard sandwort yes another 2 for 10 guys so this one is a part song plant here the zone is 4 cold hardiness is minus 20 to minus 30 the average mature size is 2 to 4 inches tall and 8 to 12 inches wide you want to space it 8 to 12 inches apart okay that's pretty alrighty guys this beautiful purple is the homestead verbena and yes another Lowe's plant two for ten so this one is a trailing plant the cold hardiness is zero to minus ten non hardy in zones one to five the average mature size is 12 to 18 inches tall and 24 to 36 inches wide you want to space this one 18 to 24 inches apart and it is beautiful two for ten guys oh my word that is great new dementia rose salvia yes guys another mountain perennial so yes this one is two for ten so this one comes back year after year and it blooms in the summer and the fall the zone is five cold hardiness is minus 10 to minus 20. Oh. The average mature size is 8 to 12 inches tall and 12 to 18 inches wide. You want to space it 12 to 18 inches apart and fertilize this one monthly. It's also water-wise and deer resistant. Okay. Okay, another two for 10 is going to be this one. The Artemisia, okay, it's an upright perennial. So this one, the cold hardiness is minus 10 to minus 20. non hardy in zones one to four. The average mature size is three feet tall and two feet wide. You wanna space this one 30 inches apart. That foliage is so delicate, it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. All righty, another two for 10 here, a trailing perennial. This one is the Lemon Ball Sedum, 2 for 10. It blooms in the summer and the fall. The cold hardiness is minus 30 to minus 40. The zone is 3. The average mature size is 4 inches high and 18 to 24 inches wide. You want to space it 18 to 24 inches apart and fertilize this one spring and summer. Lemon Ball Sedum. And this is something different right here. What is this one? Okay, Angelina Stonecrop. It's a trailing perennial that blooms in the summer and the fall. Yes. And this one is two for 10 as well. Okay, so this one is a zone three. Minus 30 to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. The average mature size is three to six inches tall and 12 to 14 inches wide. You wanna space it 12 to 14 inches apart and fertilize this one monthly. This one looks kind of like the sedum, but it's different. It's heavier than the sedum. Yeah. Beautiful. Don't forget, guys, two for ten on all of these over here we've gone over. Okay, so the red ballerina is over here. Two for ten. We've gone over that one. And then this beautiful yellow. Leonardo Compact Leprous Bane. Yes, so this is a mountain perennial. It is 2 for 10 as well. The cold hardiness is minus 20 to minus 30. The average mature size is 12 inches tall and 10 inches wide. You want to space it 8 to 10 inches apart. Yes, guys, 2 for 10. So we have this one. Okay. The coral bells up here. The Lowe's brands, which is 2 for 10. Okay, so this palace purple coral bells is a mountain perennial it blooms in the spring and the summer it is a shade plant it needs just a little morning sun one to three hours of morning sun the zone is four cold hardiness is minus 20 to minus 30 
non-hardy in zones 1 to 3. The average mature size is 18 to 24 inches tall and wide. You also want to space it 18 to 24 inches apart and fertilize this one in the spring and summer. It is also deer resistant. Okay. Okay, the same specs on the Dale Strain Coral Bells. Okay. Yes, guys. 2410. Well, that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, here we have the Select 12 pack of annuals. They're 2420. So we have the marigolds, the petunias, and we have the impatience. Yeah, 2420. The original price is $14, so that's a great deal. And these are all the annuals. Now over here, the one pint annuals, they are five four five. Huh, we're not gonna beat this deal, guys. Woo! So we have all the same ones, the marigolds, which is in the gold and the yellow, the petunias in the purple and the pink, and the impatience in all of the beautiful colors they come in, red, purple, salmon yes and usually white but i don't see white right now they even have the begonias over here guys yes five for five. Oh yes more begonias here guys now these are let's see these six pack of begonias they are 3.98 okay they have the begonias in the dark leaf as well as the light green leaf Okay. Okay, guys, they also have the begonias in the 12 pack. So that'll be what, two for 20? Did I say two for 20? Okay. Yes. Here, this is pretty. Lobelia. Okay, the Lobelia is here. So this one is a 2468 pack for 398 for the Lobelia. Okay. Non hardy below 32 degree Fahrenheit. It gets 5 to 6 inches tall and 8 to 12 inches wide. It's not a bad deal, guys. 398 is a mountain annual. That is really pretty. Oh, yes. Yeah, there go the white uh, impatient right there okay so yes guys we have a few deals over here and i like it i like it a lot <laughs> yes okay so look at this right here we have some of the coleuses Ooh, they have them mixed here oh they're mixed oh i like that they're mixed guys they're 398 for two four six eight you get eight 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 different ones and they're mixed and i like that more beautiful begonias over here Oh my word. This is more like it here, guys. Woo. Mm -hmm. I need to figure out what I'm going to plant this year. I was talking about perennials, but hey, with these prices, I may just go ahead and do a few annuals. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So. Oh, that's pretty right there. The chocolate chip ajuga right here for three forty-eight, minus thirty to minus forty Fahrenheit on this one, and this one gets four to twelve inches tall and twenty-four inches wide. This is a tough plant too, guys. I've had some of these. I've taken them up, and they keep popping up. <laughs> so that's a tough little plant too. Well, all right, friends, that is it here today at Lowe's. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to come out and get these great deals like this two for 10 on the 2.5 quart size perennials. Wonderful, wonderful deal. This is the time to buy it. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.